Army of Two The 40th Day for the PSP does a short telling of the home console version, taking you through the six morality choices, with the six morality choices being deciding JB's fate, taking the guns from the guard or not, decide to end a species of tiger or not, let Chen get the gun or not, let Breznov live or kill him, and finally, kill Jonah or your partner. The levels take you through a shorter interpretation of the home console's levels, with the dialogue and cutscenes also being shorter. As for the main plot, Tyson Rios and Elliot Salem, the two protagonists from the first game, with the assistance of their handler, Alice Murray, must fight to survive and prevail over invading forces that have engulfed Shanghai, China in a devastating terrorist attack. As Rios and Salem shoot through Shanghai, they realize that they are not able to escape and instead decide to exact revenge on the 40th Day Initiative by killing their leader, Jonah Wade. They manage to track him to a heavily fortified temple, and the pair fight through it until they reach the inner sanctum, finally meeting Jonah. Jonah then justifies his actions as a violent social experiment to force the world to turn back from the moral decay that is destroying it, all while holding a device that he claims is the trigger for a nuclear bomb located deep in the city. He offers Rios and Salem a choice to make, an act of sacrifice, by having them choose to shoot the other, or choose to kill him. Regardless of the choice taken, Jonah reveals that the bomb was just a hoax. Killing one's partner ends the game with an epilogue where the surviving partner laments taking his friend's life, while killing Jonah ends the game with an epilogue of them reflecting on their motivations as UN forces move into the city. Now, as for the gameplay side of things, Army of Two The 40th Day for the PSP has been built from the ground up with a heavy focus on co-op gameplay, resulting in the ultimate two-man tactical experience on any handheld platform to date. Well, during that time. Army of Two The 40th Day for the PSP features the same feel as the console version, but wrapped in a more accessible arcade style of gameplay. Players can team up with an AI companion in single player mode or a human friend in two player co op. Two player multiplayer support allows for up to two players in wireless multiplayer action via an ad hoc connection. Co op tactics are made aware to the player in what is known as the co op playbook. Unlike the original game, which in some instances limited the use of some tactics to certain situations, in the 40th day, players have access to all tactics. Implementing these tactics against opponents revolves around the game's aggro system, which is tallied in the heads-up display, and which measures the amount of attention a team member draws from opponents for certain tactics, leaving the other team member in various states of freedom to launch coordinated attacks as chosen. There's even skins you can unlock, such as Philip Clyde, aka Smiley, Jonah Wade, the main antagonist of this game, Isaac Clarke from the Dead Space games, and Dante from Dante's Inferno. Well, that about wraps up this video. If you have a game series you'd like to see me loosely explain, or a game story you'd like to see me explain, please feel free to comment down below. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next one.